So, if you were wondering what the hell this was in the last video, aside from being a poorly focused recording, which in my opinion turned out better than I had expected, maybe this will shed some light on it. Maybe it's not as obvious as it should be. I'll stop the source. And maybe I'll just dial through these a little bit. I've got th four potentiometers here. And the most important first is the second one. Leave that kind of on, and then I'll start playing with the others. So that seems like pitch. Not the exact circuit, but it's pretty close to what I've got. I have a single input that's filtered for low frequencies below. Uh, I did not write it down here. It's like 200 hertz or so, and then a bandpass for the kind of the low end. Oh yeah, it says here, like 300 hertz, around a kilohertz, around. I think this one ended up more like three kilohertz, and everything that's like five kilohertz and up. Those go into full wave detectors, low pass filters, so that we just get control voltages coming off these. If we just put those into LEDs, just like the LEDs here, it would simply be a light organ where amplitudes of different bands go into the light of the level, the amplitude. But I've taken a different approach here where each one of these comes down Although this one's the only one that shows there's a variable offset, actually all of them have it, but hence the four potentiometers. This one comes into a VCO, which has a variable output gain, and then a, there's a variable offset added to that, which controls the frequency of the next one, and then finally the amplitude of the output is controlled as well. One of the best ways to control that amplitude and all of that is to use LM13700 Operational Transconductance Amplifier. And this circuit is just straight out of the data sheet. What it is is the input goes into a stage which has variable bias current coming from a control voltage. That goes into a capacitor, a follower with a bias resistor, and then a comparator. I'm actually using a comparator here to save on chips. And then that has this voltage divider here which is set up so that the triangle wave here on the capacitor is about plus minus 1.2 volts around the average. And when I say ground it's actually like plus minus 6 volts. It's not actually ground, it's actually like 12 volt supply and it's made in a floating ground kind of configuration just because I'm lazy. 
Anyway, that makes a variable frequency triangle wave oscillator. It's a triangle wave because it's easier than a sine wave. If I really wanted to go to it, I could put on some like clipper diode stuff to make a sine wave. It's kind of hard to try to filter it. You can make state variable filters with these as well that have variable bandpass and stuff if you want to get really involved. But for this purpose, I've just got a triangle wave driving a triangle wave. And you might be curious what that looks like on the oscilloscope. This is the condition with the slow varying input. If I change the rate of that, it starts to go into weird things. You see it starts to get kind of bent and warped as the waves interfere. As it gets really warped, it starts looking really weird, and it's like skipping cycles and stuff. Here's the variable output amplitude. stops triggering when it's too small. You can tell the supply is not regulated because the pitch does vary with amplitude. And that's just the base pitch of the first one, or actually I should say the last one. So you can see the number of cycles that get interfered essentially varies as I change that. Kind of dances around on screen. last piece of the puzzle that you haven't heard but that you've seen encoded through this thing is what is the signal source? I kind of dropped a hint that it was something that I've had on my videos before but it's probably rather obscure. It's a MIDI file from Descent back in 1995 or so. It's a pretty good choice for this because you see it's got a nice bass line and drum line, and it's got some of that synth stuff, so it kind of covers all the spectrum. And it works pretty well for this in terms of beats and stuff. I well, hope you enjoyed that. Have fun.